Okay, now, this is the knuckle smasher. Okay, yeah, and uh, so I told you we attack the arms a lot. We also attack the hands, the knuckles, okay? And um, you might not appreciate this until you feel it. But this man, when you get your knuckles crunched, it really, really makes you not want to punch anymore. And um, uh, yeah, that's a fact, okay? And this will work. The reason why I know it works so well is you can do it right through a 16 ounce boxing glove and still have him wincing, okay? So uh, if you can parry a jab, throw a jab, you can parry that. If you can parry that, why can't you smash that, those fingers? You see what I mean? When that thing comes in, look at this elbow. It's going to hit. Let's say he, he's got a fist. You see how you're going to hit the knuckles here? You're just driving that punch. He's punching, and I'm driving it into my knuckles. I don't want to just get my finger into his eye. So you come with a cross and a hook, and then you're going to right knee, okay? So, uh, yeah, this is the knuckle crunch, okay? Knuckle smash. So when he, when he jabs like that, that's going to get the knuckles. That gets the finger in the eye. And then you go cross hook, and then you right knee, okay? So this hand's parrying. And this is also a vertical scissors motion, OK? See how this is just coming up into his knuckles. And you want to just stick your finger into his eye, which makes the best time to hit him with a cross and a hook and a knee, OK? Now, the sister technique. I know you were waiting for that. When he comes with the right cross, look at this. Can you imagine throwing your best right cross and having a guy just drive his elbow into your knuckles? Can you imagine what that would feel like? It wouldn't feel good, I'll tell you that. So when he goes like that, and you get that, boom, you see the finger jab here, you hook, cross, and then you're going to left knee. OK? Let's look at that again. When that cross comes, and you smash that, you finger jab, you hook, cross, and then you knee. OK, it's a quick finger jab. You know who was good at that is Bruce Lee. He had a thing, a device, where he could, he just practiced burying the finger jab into the eye. He was an expert. Any angle, he, no matter what you do, he could get his finger into your eye from any angle. Once the finger's into the eye, we already know. It's the best time to hit him, no matter how big he is. OK? So uh, once you crunch his knuckles, you crunch his knuckles, then you get his eyes, and then you go cross, hook, and you knee. That will do the job, OK? And when it comes on this side, once you get that finger into the eye, you want to finish with that hook cross, and then give him a big left knee, OK? All right, let's have a look at it on the mitts. Let's look at it again. Now I have my gloves on. I can really hit. You'll notice sometimes when you, don't, when you don't wear gloves, man, you don't feel like hitting hard. That's why we like to put at least an MMA glove on. But if it's a drill where you're not using, if you're not utilizing your fingers, if you're utilizing your fingers to grab, utilizing your fingers to eye gouge and stuff like that, that's a good time to wear an MMA glove. Okay? However, if you're not doing that kind of stuff, wear a boxing glove. Wear a 14, wear a 16 ounce boxing glove. You know, wrap your hands because you're going to hurt your hands. That's the reason why, actually, in Filipino boxing, we'd love to slap. <laughs> we prefer sometimes a slap over a punch. But that's another story. But uh, uh, let's check this out now, OK? So when he throws his jab, and I get that smash, and then the finger in the eye, cross, hook, and then you're going to knee. OK, if it comes with the cross, and you go like that, whoop, finger in the eye, hook, cross, and then you knee. OK, let's look at that again. You finger jab it. You knuckle crunch it, then you finger jab it, hook, cross, and you knee. See, off of the jab again, off of the cross. OK, let's watch these guys do it. The way this thing goes is when you cross hook, you're going to right knee. Then you hook cross, and you left knee. And then you cross hook, and then you right knee. You hook cross, and then you left knee. Cross hook, right knee, hook cross, left knee. OK, let me see you guys do it. 